Peace and light. Good old guy, Australia. You can follow me over on YouTube and BitChute or OE58 on Rumble. <clears throat> Just a quick one. Um, things have escalated with the Russian-Ukraine war. And uh, it would appear that uh, Putin's decided to uh, launch a uh, strike on Ukraine. Now, you would have seen the US involved in heavy, heavy criticism and, of course, Scott Morrison... Uh, making out like we're some superpower by saying the wheel stand against thuggery and thugs. <laughs> well, uh, unless, of course, they're pedophiles, in which case we'll protect them. But a lot of people haven't got a clue as to what's going on in the Ukraine, and I don't blame you. But you need to understand that the Ukraine has a number of issues. One is that it's a wealthy, wealthy country. And I don't just mean mineral rich, which it is but it has major agricultural uh, assets and far more. But it is the minerals, really. And uh, the US has spent decades, decades, fomenting um, tensions between Ukraine and Russia and getting it to secede and stay away from Russia. Make no mistake, the US wants Ukraine in its pocket. Now, Hunter Biden's been over there, even while Trump was president, <clears throat> working over there for, you know, $50 million a week with no um, formal training in anything other than uh, cocaine and hookers, uh, underage ones at that. So Ukraine is where the Clintons and the Bidens and others have a lot of dirty secrets, a lot of dirty secrets. And they do not want the Ukraine to be exposed, the truth of the Ukraine to be exposed. They don't. And now I'm sure that uh, the US will puff its cheeks and maybe launch a military strike of some sort, who knows, but they can't take Russia on. Putin's not a man you want to muck ass around with. And he doesn't do things by half. A very well spoken man. You've been painted in the wrong light, particularly in this situation. Where and Morrison's making out like you know we're going to support the, uh, you know the uh, push against uh, Russia, but look, we're nothing. We're nobody. Um, our military is employed against our indigenous people, going out and giving them the narrative. So you know we haven't got anyone left. We've got bo navy boats tied up at the wharf. We've got uh, planes sitting there that can't be flown. We haven't got crews. We can't even crew a ship. In the Navy, we can't fly planes, we've got done it to pilots, we haven't got the stuff. They've all left because of this, they don't want to be a part of it, they're all gone, they've walked out. You have no idea. We have a depleted military. A depleted military. If you don't think so, do a little checking. Anyway, that's how it goes. You know, it's all posturing. Well, it won't be a third world war, it won't be like that. When it finally comes in the end, it's going to be bad, but it won't be that. The Middle East will erupt, but it won't be. Uh, it won't be this. Anyway, I'm going to do my fiat currency video. Uh, I'm working pretty hard at the moment trying to get this done down at the uh, south coast, so it might take me a little while, but I'll get the fiat currency video done, and uh, and then I will. Um, Hopefully, have given you a slighter and better understanding <clears throat> of um, some basic economics, and you'll you'll be able to join some more dots uh, once you know it. If you know what fair, fair currency is, that's great. So I'll give you a very short video on how that's um, construed, and then you'll know your role in this and why those over sixty were the first targets, or over sixty-five were the first targets worldwide, right? Uh, beautiful afternoon. I got a mate wants me to go prawning, another mate's begging me to go fishing. Um, I'd have to go home and look at the chook's nest because I put it up, I made this great little setup, and they're like, man, don't want to get up there because the bloody goanna's stealing all the eggs. So I, I built a place for the nest to sit, which I thought was great, but the chooks don't like it. So I've got to figure something else out. God damn it, chickens. Anyway, peace and light, that old guy Australia. Be back at you soon. Make sure you love each other. Know that in the end we win. We don't know when, but we win. 
Okay, take it easy, and I'll see you on the flip side.